we're going to be doing is a full body workout. I did a video like this in the past where we only use the chair to do all of our exercises. Today I still have my chair with me, but we're going to be doing a few extra things using our dumbbells and I also have a resistance band. Now, if you don't have any equipment, that's more than okay. Remember, you can use your chair and you can also use regular everyday items such as canned foods, you can even use water bottles, um, or any other kind of containers that you have at home that you can fill with things. So you can get a little bit creative when it comes to doing this workout at home. So remember, before we begin, there's a few things we want to do. Number one, we always want to warm up before our workout. So you can warm up by going for a walk around the block a couple times. You can use your stairs at home and going up and down. And even doing something like your jumping jacks where you're getting your arms up overhead is a good way of getting your blood flow up and getting your heart rate up so that you're ready for exercise. The next thing to remember is that you always want to practice safe exercise. And so what I mean by that is if, there, if we're doing an exercise that causes you pain, um, just go ahead and skip over that exercise or you can substitute that for an exercise that feels better for you. Now, exercise is not a one size fits all approach. So there are gonna be different things that are uncomfortable or painful for, e for each of us. So we just wanna be mindful to listen to our body and of course, we want to push ourselves and be a little bit uncomfortable when we're exercising, but we never want to feel pain. So today, what I have is five exercises that we're going to do. We're going to do each exercise for 16 repetitions, and we're going to do that for three sets. So at the end of each set, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a break. So, but if you need a break at any point, always remember that you can pause this video at any time and then come back when you're, when you're ready. We're going to start with exercise number one, which is a lunge. So with the lunge, we're using our lower body and we're starting with this exercise because we always want to start with the largest muscle groups first, our legs being one of them. So with the lunge, we're going to set ourselves up, make sure you have some space in front of you. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take a large step forward and we're going to allow our body to sink down, bringing us closer to the ground before coming back up. Then we're going to go ahead and switch sides. So big step forward, we're going to come down and come back up. So remember, we're doing 16 repetitions of each exercise, so go ahead and do your 16. Now, it's important to notice that when you're doing the lunge, that you want to make sure that you're stepping farther enough away. So that way you have some space to sink straight down. The biggest mistake I see with the lunge is that our steps are too small, which leaves us nowhere to go except forward. And this can be a lot of weight and a lot of force onto our knees, so we don't want to cause any discomfort there. So just take a large step forward, sink down, and come back up. Now you can also use a chair just for a bit of support. So you can hold on to the side, and this is helpful if you find that you're having a bit of balance issues when you lunge. So remember we're doing 16. Now you may have gotten a few extra while I was talking, so I'm just gonna catch up here. And when I say 16, I'm actually only doing eight on each side. If you want a bit of a challenge, you can go ahead and do 16 on each side. You might feel a bit of soreness the next day, but it's good to challenge ourselves, especially if an exercise is getting a bit easy. Now that we're done our lunges, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some dumbbells. Remember, you can use anything that you have around your house, such as canned items. And what we're gonna do today is a bicep curl and a shoulder press combo. So I'm gonna hold my dumbbells out in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and curl these up, and then I'm pressing straight up. So this is a compound movement, meaning that I have two exercises in one. And this is a great way to be efficient with our workout. Now, if you have any shoulder problems, I suggest not doing the shoulder press, especially if you're feeling a bit of discomfort. You can also do this with your resistance band. Again, the shoulder press, press might be a little bit harder to do unless you have a very long resistance band. So you can always just separate those movements. Awesome. So we're going for 16 here. Now for those who know me, you know I have a hard time keeping track of repetitions, especially if I'm talking at the same time. 
So sometimes I go by how I feel. Now if you've done your 16, you can go ahead and stop. I'm gonna do one more here, just for good luck. Awesome. Now I'm gonna put my weights aside because I won't need that for the next exercise. What we're gonna be doing next is a push-up. Now, we've done the push-up before in the past, and you know that there's multiple ways, so we can either use a wall, walking right up against the wall, we can use something like a counter or something that's a little bit lower. So I'm gonna be using the bar here for that. Another thing you can do as well is that you can use a chair. So why don't I demonstrate actually for this first set, I'll use the chair here. We're gonna come down to our knees and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do 16 push-ups. Now, of course, you can always challenge yourself if you're finding the knee push-ups a little bit easy. You can go ahead and do them from your toes. So there's lots of variations to the push-up. You can even, if you're finding the wall push-ups hard, you can find another surface a little bit closer to the ground, like a counter or a bar like this, and you can do your push-ups on them as well. So it's just finding what works for you. And once you've gotten your 16, go ahead, stand up. You might feel a bit of burning in the shoulders or the chest, so you can roll them around a few times. Now the next exercise we're gonna do is called the bent over row. Now this is one of my all time favorite exercises because it focuses on our upper back. So I'm gonna use my resistance band first for this exercise, but if you have some dumbbells, or if you have your canned items, you can go ahead and pick those up as well. If, you, if you're using a resistance band, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that band underneath your feet. I'm gonna bend, or I'm gonna turn to the side so you can watch me here. And what you wanna make sure you do in this, in this exercise is you want to push your hips back so that your chest is a little bit more parallel to the ground. So the biggest mistake I see here is oftentimes we're standing too upright. So when we go to do our row, we're actually using a lot more shoulders than we are back. So you wanna make sure you're parallel. And it might be easier as well to do this in a chair. You can go ahead and sit down. And this just allows you to support your back a little bit more if you're feeling some discomfort in the low back. But holding the bands at the side, I'm keeping my back straight. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull these bands up. So we're going for 16 here. Keep going. I'm gonna pick up my dumbbells and I'm gonna show you the standing version as well. You really wanna make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades at the top so that you're using those postural muscles that help hold your shoulders back. I'm gonna do a few more here. Now this last exercise, I made a bit of space for myself. I'm gonna do some high knees here. So the high knees is just gonna be used to get our heart rate up. Now, whereas the lunges, I split them up and I did eight on each side. With the high knees, I wanna make sure I'm getting 16 on each side. So I'm just go ahead and bringing my knees up towards my hands. So this is almost like our high march, but I wanna get my heart rate up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're counting out. So 16 on each side. And we're getting that heart rate up. At any time, you can always come back to that high march. But if you can, the faster you move, the higher your heart rate's gonna get. Awesome. So that's the end of our first set. We're gonna go ahead, take a break, get a drink of water, and we're gonna do that again. ready for set number two. Now, if you're still catching your breath, go ahead and pause this video, get a little bit more water and take your time. When you're ready, just join us back here. Now, I'm gonna start from the top. So if you remember our first exercise we did was our lunges. So we're gonna go ahead and we're doing 16 lunges. So that's two, three, awesome. So remember taking those big steps forward allowing your body to sink down. If you need a bit of balance, you can hold on to something as well. We're gonna do a few more here. You 
can always challenge yourself as well by walking. So using your lunges, walk to one end of the room and then walking back as well. Perfect. So that's 16 lunges. Now our next exercise, go ahead, pick up your dumbbells. And we're gonna curl and we're gonna do our shoulder press. So bicep curl, shoulder press. You'll notice the way I do my shoulder press. I keep my palms facing each other before I press up. And the reason why I do this is that it's a little bit more neutral on the shoulder. So if you have any shoulder impingements or if you're having some pain while you're pressing up, you can try keeping your palms facing each other. All right, a few more here. Good. You might notice that the shoulders actually start to burn a little bit first. So if you want, before you get to the 16, you can always just switch to just the bicep curls. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead, drop my weights. Now our next exercise is the push-up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the bar here, but you can set yourself up in any position that you'd like. Remember the further away, if, you're, if you are using a counter or wall, the, for, the further away your feet are, the harder it's going to be. So if I needed to make this easier, I can step a little bit closer, or I can go ahead and bring my feet back. Now the most important thing when you're doing your push-up, you want to keep your body in one straight line. So you should be able to draw a line from my ankles, knees, hips, shoulders. So to do that, we are using a bit of our core because we're trying to keep our Spine nice and engaged, and we don't want the hips to fall in. So going for 16. Again, I did lose count, so I'll do a few extra here with you. Perfect. Roll the shoulders out. The next exercise we're going to do is our bent over row. So again, I'm going to pick up my dumbbells. I'm going to set myself up. So I'm bending forward here, keeping my back straight, and I'm just gonna pull that weight straight up. So I always like to think elbows to ceiling here, and we do wanna keep the elbows tucked in. So you don't want the elbows out like this, keep them tucked in. I always call this the chicken wing, so we don't want any chicken wings. Keep those elbows in and pull up. Squeeze the shoulder blades at the top. Again, if you're finding a bit of discomfort in the low back, you can always drop one weight, hold on to one side, and you can do your bent over rows in this position as well. So there's lots of modifications for these exercises. This is also a good version to do if you're going a bit heavier. So it allows you to really focus and concentrate on one side. Or just make sure you do the opposite side as well. Okay, so after our bent over rows, we just have one more exercise to go. We're gonna get that heart rate up. So go ahead, get those knees up. Now it should be harder to talk when we're doing this because we're trying to work at a higher intensity. But remember, you can always come to that high march. We're gonna do a few more here. Really getting my heart rate up. Remember, we're doing 16 on each side. So once you've gotten each one, whew, go ahead, stop, and we're gonna take a break. All right, we're almost done. We have one more set to go. Remember, if you still need to take a little bit of time to catch your breath, go ahead and pause this video. I'm gonna go ahead right now, and I'm gonna start back at the top with my lunges. So, taking a big step forward. Now, sometimes you see people with their hands on their hips, and that's okay. Sometimes it helps a bit more with balance. So that was six, I'm gonna do 10 more here. I'm just turning on this side so you can see a little bit better. 
Remember those big steps forward. And sinking all the way down. Perfect, so we should be at 16. So go ahead. Usually by the last set, you might feel those, those muscles tire out a little bit earlier. And that's okay, that just means that you're working them. So next, we're gonna go ahead, grab our dumbbells. We're gonna do our bicep curls and shoulder press. So go ahead here. Now, if you find that you wanna use different weight for your bicep curls and your shoulder press, you can go ahead and separate these exercises into two. I like to be a little bit efficient when I do my workouts. So if I can combine exercises, it means that I'll be done sooner. I always tell people you don't need to spend hours in the gym. You can get a really good workout in a short period of time as well. take your time. I'm going to use the chair this time for my push-up. So I'm going to go ahead, hold it onto the sides. And you want to make sure your chair is somewhere where it's supported. So either on a mat where it's not going to slip or putting this up against a wall so that it doesn't move forward. All right. So I'm trying to keep my body nice and straight. finding you're getting a little bit tired, you can always come down to your knees and finish up your push-ups that way as well. It's a great way of working up your strength. Every time you do these, you might notice you might be able to do one extra that you weren't able to do before. Perfect, so it's 16. making a bit of space. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells here again. Remember, you can use anything you have. We're gonna do our bent over rows. So, bending forward here. I'm just gonna go ahead, press up. So I'm really focusing on the middle of my back. Every time I pull that weight up, I'm squeezing those shoulder blades together. Thinking about good posture the entire time, so I don't want to be slouched forward like this. Nice straight back. Remember to keep count. Once you're done your 16, you can go ahead and stop. I'm going to put the weights down. And we just have one more exercise to finish this off. So let's go ahead, get those knees up. We're gonna get those heart rates up. Awesome, keep going. You're almost there. All right, last few, three, two, and one. And that's it, we're done. Give yourself a round of applause grab some water, and we're gonna cool down. Awesome job today. If you made it to the end of this workout, just want you to know that I'm really proud of you. If you didn't quite make it to the end, I'm still proud of you that you're here and you're watching. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch to finish it up. So I'm gonna start with uh, using some of those muscles that we already used today, and I'm gonna stretch out my legs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one foot out in front of me, I'm gonna bend my back leg and push my hips back just so that I'm getting that nice straight leg and I'm getting a stretch from the top of my hip all the way down. The more that I bring my toes up towards me, the more stretch I'm gonna feel in the calf muscle down below. 
Now you can always just hold on to the opposite leg for a bit of support, or if you have a chair by you or something that you can hold on to, you can do that as well. It allows you to spend a little bit more time in the stretch. So remember when you're doing these stretches on your own, you wanna hold them for at least 30 seconds. Once you've done 30 seconds, you can go ahead and switch. So opposite leg out in front of you. We're gonna bring the toes up. I'm gonna bend that back leg and just push my hips back. So nice straight line in this leg here. I'm gonna support myself on my leg this time. And it's really important to breathe here. So you worked really hard today. Now's the time to really reward your body. Take those nice deep breaths in. Deep breath out. When you remind yourself to breathe, you might notice that the stretch gets a little bit easier as well. So you, maybe you wanna push a little bit more into that stretch. Awesome, so we're gonna come back up. I wanna stretch the front of the legs here. So holding on to the back of my chair, I'm gonna reach for my ankle here. Now, if you can't reach your ankle, that's okay. If you have something like a band or a towel, you can wrap it around your leg as well. And you can use that to hold that foot up. If your pant legs are a little bit longer, you can always hold onto the back of your pants as well. But what we're gonna do in this position, I'm gonna keep my knee pointed to the ground here. I'm gonna slightly push my hips forward. So I'm trying to push my hips out getting that nice stretch all along the front of the leg. So these muscles might be a little bit sore tomorrow if this is your first time doing the lunges or maybe just your first time in a while doing lunges. So we wanna make sure we stretch out the legs nice and good. So remember, deep breath in, deep breath out. And also maybe we can stretch a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So I'm gonna hold on to the opposite side. I'm gonna grab that other leg and just bringing that foot up towards my bottom. Now I wanna make sure I'm keeping my knee pointed towards the ground. Sometimes with this stretch, you see kind of people try to pull their leg out and all about. So keeping my knee pointed towards the ground so that I can focus more on stretching the top part of my hip here. So I'm gonna press my hips forward a little bit deep breath in. You're going to notice as well one side's always going to be tighter than the other so spend a little extra time where you need it more. Awesome so we're going to go ahead let that go shake out the legs a little bit you can do a few circles here on the ankle they might all of a sudden feel a little bit looser than they were before you started same thing on the other side. Awesome. Now I wanna go ahead and stretch out my back. So I'm gonna take my hands out in front of me. I'm gonna press those away and allowing my head to drop in between my arms. The more I press my hands away, the more stretch I'll feel in the upper back. Once I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them out and I'm gonna open up my chest. So pressing my hands back behind me, I can even grab them and press them away if I need to open up my chest a little bit more. But usually just the hands behind us pressing the wall away, that's gonna be a huge stretch all along the front of the arms and the chest. Awesome, so getting the shoulders in, we're gonna bring one arm across our body, opposite hand, just gonna come in underneath. And we're just pulling that arm a little bit closer to ourselves here. We want to make sure that the shoulder isn't hiked up to here. Make sure we drop that shoulder down. Give it a nice stretch. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Awesome. Switch sides. Taking that opposite arm, we're going to bring the other arm underneath and give it a little hug. And this is always a really great opportunity to think back over the workout, how I felt before my workout, how I'm feeling now, maybe those muscles that are feeling really tired, maybe that's a sign that I need to do those exercises a little bit more, especially the ones that were a little bit more challenging. 
So I'm just taking this time to kind of review how I did. Awesome. So shake the arms out. We're gonna go ahead and do some circles here. Just making sure that our shoulder joint is moving nicely. And again, just like the same thing with the ankles, our shoulder is gonna feel much more fluid this time around after doing that workout. Make sure we switch directions going forward. These big circles. Good. Now we're gonna finish it off with taking a nice deep breath in. Reach up. Exhale. We're gonna do that again. Deep breath in. Exhale. And then on the last one, we're gonna go nice and slow. Just a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Thank you all for watching to the end of this video and making it through that workout. Remember, it doesn't matter how much of the workout you did, if you only did one set, maybe you didn't do all the exercises, all that matters is that you did something today for your health. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.